It is the middle of the night near the border of the kingdom of Balconus. The air is still and quiet as same as when you first came here in your pursuit of Cloveway. Uh, and only the distant sounds of Chester City can be faintly heard. On Enoch's watch, a uh, figure was seen floating in the distance before it swatted his homunculus Kuro down before vanishing. What do you guys do? Everyone is up and awake. You have not completed your long rest yet okay. since uh, it has only been one watch i like to consider like two watches worth of, worth of rest to be a long rest ah we're all elves here are we all aware of the fact that kuro has been knocked yes to... i think yeah. that has been yeah. uh told yeah the last i remember is... obvious ping on his head the last i remember us all discussing is that um kuro we know kuro kuro was hurt uh, we are all trying to be quiet. Luna said she had a way to look around the camp without leaving camp so that we don't risk a casualty. And I think that's where we are at in terms of discussion. Yes. Uh, so I make recommendation is, well, at least for Enoch, I am going to try and hide behind something. Okay. Like I, mm. I intend to stealth. Okay. Mm. Uh, is there any specific way that you wish to do that? I am going to get behind the farthest tree back. Farthest tree back. Okay, let's say yeah. you can put yourself... Yeah, right there. Perfect. Kuro, I am going to command to stay by Nathaniel. Okie dokie. Oh, that's good, because I'm going to do the exact same thing, but over here. <laughs> okay. Renee is also probably going to um, look at her brother and be like, just take one of the hostages and go to one of the factories. If anything goes wrong, I want you to take it and just go. But I can fight. He pulls out a dagger from his waistcoat. <laughs> Aw, he thinks he can fight. <laughs> That's adorable. Maybe he thinks he can fight. Um, but she just like shakes her head and is just like, we don't even know if we need to fight yet. Ugh. Okay? Okay. And we also don't know what it is. Just because you can fight doesn't mean you always have to. Rule number one when you are adventuring with anyone. But now go, now go take one of the horses and go behind the tree. Fine. Walks over, just... takes one of the horses, and follows your instruction. I'm going to put him off of the map. Uh, actually, I'm just going to put him right here in case I need him again. Yeah, because knowing him, he's probably not going to listen to me. <laughs> he's only going to be like, okay, why no? <laughs> Especially because she's also silently cursing to herself. I didn't get a full rest, so all of my high-level spells are gone. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Does everybody seem like they're in the position they want to be in? Is Kara where she wants to be in this? Oh, or? yes. Positioning of Kara. She it just simply sits up in front of the fire and waits. Where she is. Okay. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Luna is going to kneel down before she does this because I will be blind and deafened for doing this, but I'd like to invoke my Echo Avatar ability, please. Mm, and what is that? That is my fancy new Echo Knight ability that allows me to transfer uh, my senses into my Echo like you do for a familiar. I am blind and deafened, but my Echo can now move up to a thousand feet away from me for up to ten minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, my and you're gonna God. Wanna, you want to scout around the area, I yes. assume. Yes. Up to Without a thousand casualty, feet. Without casualty, because Echo just goes poof when it gets smacked. You're right. Echo just goes poof. <laughs> you could say that Luna just went into the Avatar state. Get out. <laughs> Leave. Uh, I can't believe Luna's the farewell. avatar. <laughs> Luna is a terrible avatar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to need a uh, your choice between a survival or perception check. As you go, uh, you're going to send your echo on this patrol. Uh, I'm going, well, they're the same either way, so we're just going to go perception. All right. And as you do this, you can hear well, like just a whispering of from Kara. Just go, oh, no. oh, that's a fancy trick. Well, that fancy trick did us fuck all because I rolled a two, but <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Worst case, the echo will trigger something and get hit, yes. and then you'll know something's out there. Yeah, the the aim is I just want my echo to basically do a a, a lap around right. the camp, not being particularly stealthy because if the echo's caught, it's fine because um, the echo's not a, a living person. All right, you right. travel around around the kind of l far perimeter of the camp, just. Traveling around, you don't hear anything aside from the odd cricket here and there. And just like as you go around the radius nearer to Chester City, you don't hear anything. But suddenly your consciousness fades and comes back to the camp. Your echo has been hit by something. Uh, 
<laughs> Do I know approximately which direction the echo was in? Because my sight, yes. my eye, my eyes and ears were in were in the echo, so I'd know where camp was from the echo's yes. point. Judging from kind of where it was here, I'm going to bring us to the map so that I can pinpoint kind of the direction oh. where oh. your echo was before you lost your senses from it. It was kind of towards this direction. Okay, so I'm assuming so north as, of the camp. As your echo was like, say, like over here, like about that far from the camp. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. a thousand feet, but you know, like towards that direction is when something struck your echo and killed it. So when it got closer to Chester City. Yes, but although not well, directly towards Chester City, more somewhat to the south. Oh, so what you're saying is we need to go the opposite direction. <laughs> Which is, you know, that's the direction we're heading, though, is the problem. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yep. Uh, Luna will stand up after uh, after uh, having Echo, like, poofed just immediately. Well, yeah, there's something out there. And it's all still... Didn't even see it. Didn't give a warning. Just immediately destroyed it. I cannot sense... Uh, Kara speaks up. I cannot sense any, any, any necromancy. Friends of yours? Well, uh, well not if, exactly. If they were friendly, I feel like they would have recognized you. Or even worse, maybe they were friendly and then decided to kick our asses just because. Okay, not everybody in my life does that, Renee. A lot of people in my life have. I've just tried to be cautious. <laughs> while, while they're talking, I have an idea. Ooh. What is your idea? Uh, I'd like to scan the tree line around. I'd like to let, I want to first move over to this one if possible, mm -hmm. uh, so that I can look closer towards the tree lines. And I'd like to like investigate them to see if I can't figure out what is the most likely path that they would take. Yes. Okay. And your passive uh, investigation is out the ass, which is what yeah. I'm going to take <laughs> since, since you have the time to take rather than like an attempt. Mm -hmm. Scanning the tree line, you can tell that you are out in the open. There's not a lot of cover from where you are. They could easily overwhelm you and like kind of take, if you, I'd say putting yourself in the shoes of someone who would want to ambush you, most right. likely they could easily surround you, like kind of make a spoon formation, like coming from the direction that they're coming from and then sp splay out and then cover your behind as well. Okay, well, that's good. Kind of, that's what I thought a little bit. In that case, in case they try to flank us, I'm going to throw a zone of truth over this way. Now, zone of truth doesn't have a, uh, I don't believe it has a physical, like, it doesn't look like anything normally. Mm -hmm. So I want to toss it out. And anything, uh, actually, does, does it, uh, yeah, any that enters the spell's area for the first time. So the idea is I'm going to toss it out and Ooh. I'm going to leave it there. And if someone walks through it, I'll know because I know whether they've succeeded right. or failed. Ooh. That's oh, that's clever. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm going to toss that out, and my goal is hoping, hopefully, if they try to surround us, if they try to flank us, they'll cross that first, and I'll be, be able to warn us. Warn that's you. Yep. fair. So you throw it out. Everyone's waiting. You keep your sense on the zone of truth, I'm also and something back. passes through it and fails. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, understood. Just, uh, in that case, I'm going to immediately, uh, like, motion, and I'm going to say as quick, quietly as possible, something is trying to flank us. Can, can I summon my echo again, please, just to, to <laughs> you protect may. Kara? Can I, I need to protect Kara now, because I think I know who it is, and I don't like it. I'm going to, this is going to be a stupid idea. This is a very stupid idea. Do your Perhaps. stupid idea. <laughs> I, can I still do it? Did she? Dang it! I can't do mine stuff. But crap! Never mind. <laughs> My plan won't work. But I will just kind of be the first line. If something hits me, we know it's bad. <laughs> okay. Oh my. <laughs> so what are you doing I with have... your Echo Luna? Uh, well, I was gonna use it to protect Car, but seeing fucking Renee's putting, uh, putting herself on the front line, I think I'm gonna we're gonna like, put you there instead. <laughs> uh, and I just want to be there to uh, intercept anything that might smack her. All right. Seeing Aww. everyone get prepared, Kara looks a little bit more taking the situation a little bit more seriously, and uh, does a little bit of waving with her wand. And she is going to cast Mage Armor. However, it takes the form of her bones extending from her body, kind of <laughs> forming around her, 
Uh, her bone That's... armor, rather. Mm -hmm. Not her bones. Could I, mm -hmm. could I look at her and just kind of give her an explanation of what at least Luna thinks is happening? Sure, you may. Yeah, because it was, there's, a, there's a figure in the sky, something trying to come after us. We've already run into a very dangerous figure. We mentioned Thorn before. They hate necromancers, and, uh, well, I've seen them fell a necromancer in a single swipe of an axe. Rather you not get killed. That creature. It has not approached Cloveway for some odd reason. And I do not I, understand why. I, I don't know either. I just know that we particularly piss them off. And we don't know if they're hunting us. Uh, we used one of your crystals, remember? I think we told you. Wait, you said that they did not approach Cloveway at all? Like, at Never. all, at all. You didn't have to like, try and fend them off. Seeing as the whole kingdom of Belkinus wants me dead, I have been keeping... In, tr in tune with what has been going on, including the rumors of this thorn beast. Huh. And they have been hunting necromancers, but I find it strange that they have never approached Cloveway before. Yeah, no, hey. that, that is very, very odd. Very odd. As, as interesting as this conversation is, perhaps it would be best for us to get on our horses and flee while they are currently trying to surround us. Well, if they're uh, right there, are we really going to be able to outrun them? Yes, and... I'm going to give each person one final chance to say what they're going to do slash prep. Oh, boy. Okay. If the plan, you know, if the plan is to ride away on horses, you need to say that that's what's going to happen. I'm going to move towards the horses. You're going to move towards the horses. That okay. is my intention. Yes. All right. I'm move over here. All right. I hope everybody will join me, but it's up to you. I, mm, I feel like I'll join you, but I'll be behind everyone trying to cover your backs as you're all mounting up okay i think that'll be what I, me and echo do is just stand as a line of defense so i'll put them over here all right um Renee? i'll give i'll give luna some bardic inspiration before i bounce <laughs> thank you I'm just i can't gonna... do a lot but i can do that <laughs> thank you so much i'm gonna need it Dice i'm gonna move, I'm gonna to move, move towards the horses a bit as seeing well. as everybody else is as well Kara is going to move closer to it but you can see she's getting in a defensive stance and the armor her bone armor is one akin to that of a royal knight, except made out of bones and a little bit more organic looking. To to the point where she's got a face covering as well. Ooh. Damn. Hey. Fucking hell. Renee, also my gesture, armor. Luna, be like a little bit closer to them. Like not as far away. Like that's a little too far for my comfort. And I mean I can I can shuffle her back. And lastly, bit. Enoch, <laughs> what's your one thing that you're gonna do? Perfect. I am going to prepare any shot towards anything that moves towards us if uh if it tries to come after us violently i am going to shoot it and i'm going to make that a winging shot if uh i'm going to make that a winging shot so that way we just know ahead okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to move us to another map oh and no! I'm, I'm... what do you mean there's another map <laughs> i don't like other maps <laughs> what do you mean there's another map the no, distress what do you mean it's gonna i'm look... also stealthing I've also yeah. been stealthing yes, since yes. I said I, I was will, stealthing. I will take uh, I stealth your passive stealth. What is your passive stealth? Oh. Ooh. What passive stealth? I plus three, but I rolled an 18 earlier for it. Did I ask to roll? You did. Oh, no, I did. Like, okay, never mind. Going behind the tree never mind then. Oh. Then we will take that 18. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to say oh, you hide yourself pretty well in the darkness. Oh. Uh, Why is there going to be another map? All right. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Tammy's distressed maybe about the, another map. Maybe hey. the other map will have presents. <laughs> well, maybe it'll have trees. <laughs> the other thorn in the tree line. The other map is kind of a decent amount, a little bit different from this one because I was not anticipating this. So feel free to readjust yourself accordingly, mm -hmm. if you so wish. Okay. Oh God. It's just okay. a lar It's just larger. That's all. As you guys take your position, Enoch, you actually see something stalking towards the party. Yeah. You do have set up a reaction to fire at yeah. it. You can see it's approaching very slowly and very cautiously. Do you take it? I'm going to let it reveal itself. Okay. First. Oh, so God. It, it will reveal afterwards, itself. Yeah. Afterwards, there will be problems. Okay. What the fuck is it? <laughs> Just let me select them all real quick. So I'll... Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's, okay. What do you mean, oh? Okay. Fucking, are we going to have protectors oh God, to, like, boogaloo again? What <laughs> is this shit? Why don't we just kill him? 
I well, why don't we just murder them? Yeah, oh, at this sorry. point. <laughs> at this uh, point. Sorry, I met Kara. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, why? <laughs> if we bubble her, that means we get our job. So you guys take your positions, and Enoch, yes. you see a figure stalking upwards, kind of a someone who looks to be mounted on a, an axe beak. Oh, great. It is. And God. slowly you guys hear the tussling of grass and footsteps of large creatures. As you can see, several riding axe beats approach. Oh, oh motherfucker. son of a bitch. It is, it is protector, too. In, it is protector. Including okay. one that comes out of the water, a humanoid. <gasps> lizard folk. Stupid spontaneous lake. <laughs> <laughs> a lizard folk comes out. Hello. I'd like, like to get to know you better. I, don't I like those eyes. My sword would like, like to get to know you better, sir, <laughs> depending on what you're here for. <laughs> and he speaks. Well, well, what do we have here? Is that the famous tactician and necromancer Karamiharian? God. Renee's going to take a couple steps over to Kara. So is Echo. <laughs> Just kind of like, uh, uh. You can see Kara so has her Echo. hands ready to, ready to blast a spell. And Enoch, you are right next to them. They haven't noticed you. You see there's a human mounted oh, yeah. on an axe beak right right over here. He is not taking notice oh, of yeah. you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Then that that will make things very interesting. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait. My name's Rushk, the last arc acting head of the Protectors. Thanks to you and yours throwing the rest of my pals behind bars. Well, they should have been better cell swords, to be honest with you. Oh, but now we've got an opportunity for that, don't we? I see you've uh, got the Black uh, Vein Queen herself right there. I think you have an opportunity to get your ass kicked if you don't get out of here. Now, now. Luna, perhaps. Uh, some tact would be in order. You know uh, I don't have that. Yes, well. Oh, what was your name again? It was, uh, Rask. Hmm? I think there's a, there's, yes. there's a, ish, like, Rask. Right, well. Yes. Clearly... You had the chance to surprise us and attack us on sight. You've chosen not to do that. I assume it is because, in some way, you think that there can be some negotiation to be had here. I am certain that we can reach an accord, that all of us will find me uh, amicable. Ah, uh, I trust you that the witch-taker would want to do some diplomacy. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, I was interested in having the protectors on our side before they chose to, unfortunately go down a path that we couldn't really follow. But now I give you and yours a chance to remedy that mistake, that hope that perhaps together we can do whatever it is that our mutual goals would want. And after that rambling, uh -huh. I cast my... Uh, I am going to cast my enthralling performance. Oh, yeah! shit! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Well, so that was a filibuster so that I could use this ability. Mm. Um, yeah, you're basically like <laughs> conversing, and I feel like as you're doing it, like you get more sparkly. Yep, it's like, so it's equal to my charisma modifier, which thanks to being level 8 is now 5 people. So yeah. I'm gonna ping him, this boy, this boy, uh, this boy. Uh, yeah, that, let's go with that boy. Uh, yeah, let's go with that boy is too. Is that all of them? Uh, no. No, there's I'm, one I'm that you can't get. I'm leaving that uh, that elf alone on purpose because right. this is a charm and yeah. that's an elf. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ping all of them real quick. Uh, now, if they are hostile, so this is kind of your your interpretation. If they are hostile to us, this uh, I don't believe that this works. But hostile is kind of your interpretation as as to what that means. In case right, you don't right. want me to just one ability your encounter away. Uh, but. Yeah. As, as you do this, you can see that Kara snaps her head towards you. What are you doing? Shut up. And I'm going to have to roll for all of them? Uh, yes, individually. So individually. any of them can fail. Okay. Any of them can succeed. Yeah. I feel like Renee looks over Kara so she's like, he's doing his job. So all of them except for the elf. Yes. Leave that elf alone. I don't know what he's doing, but this Leave is a that charm. Elf alone. They don't. They don't like those. <laughs> Not a place for them. All right, uh, so the human, the orc, and the halfling all are charmed. Okay. Ooh, the that's lizard folk good. is not. Valid. So okay. the orc kind of speaks up. Now, does this, does this command them to do anything? Nope. Uh, they are simply inclined to like me a whole lot. Okay. 
They just think he's neat. So yep. Rusk, <laughs> Rusk starts to speak, he's... and I don't think I don't think you have anything we, you could provide for us that a large sum of coin from turning in the Black Vein Queen couldn't provide us. Oh well, uh, of course you must understand. You know of my job, my profession. A large sum of coin is pocket change for me. You see that the uh, the orc kind of rides up a little bit, and he's like, yeah, you should probably listen to him, boss. I don't want to fall for one of his tricks, you know. As a matter of fact, um, I, back when the previous protectors and us were having our disagreement, I was able to incline, uh, influ uh, convince a few protectors to work under me. I'm sure that the same thing can be arranged for you and your people, should they wish it, of course. Ah, is that right? Yeah, and I mean, to be, to be perfectly honest, it kind of meshes really well together. We've actually seen it, like, in action before. You guys, we know that you guys can do some pretty cool shit. And, and you know, we already do some cool shit ourselves. And it Rusk kind of looks over well. to the orc. And Braco, you trust in his words. And the orc nods. And Rush immediately pulls a dagger and throws it at him. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. He's not afraid to hurt his own! Everyone no, roll for afraid. initiative. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, That's a giveaway for me, right, to, to go you ahead may. and shoot him. Surprise, right. bitch! Well, since, I'm stealth, since I'm stealth, do I get advantage? You do. Kay. Yes! Yeah. My Please. spell is okay. I, I was checking to make sure my ability, it's not a spell. My ability is not broken because I did not attack them. I was thinking nope. for a second, yeah! wait, did he just fucking break my <laughs> ability? Did that is test me? <laughs> All right. 25? So 25, oh, yes, that That's does. Gonna be hit. 25. And also, since it is a winging shot, I'll go ahead and drop it in there since. Uh... Oh, it does break. Not, But only on the orc if it hits. Mm hmm. If oh, it takes shit. damage, then the spell breaks immediately. Yeah, oh, and shit. he needs to make a strength saving throw of a DC 14 in order to not fall prone. Okay. Oh, please uh, fall prone. Please, please fall prone. Before I do, I'm going to play the battle music. Quick. Oh, no. Here we go. Fuck this lizard up <laughs> is while, what I'm going to do. That's, while you guys, are, while I'm figuring that out, uh, also, you guys uh, may roll your initiative onto board. God damn it. Oh god, I'm so afraid. I'm Please. about to do something a little dumb, but also Listen, really I've smart. been dumb this entire time. Why? Why is my initiative? I got a natural 20. Nice. Nice. <laughs> who took who gave me their bad dice karma this time? You who did? Your own dice me. karma. I apologize. Me. Did you say that it was probably me? It was the orc. I was rolling really very poorly oh. the other week. The orc, the human, and the halfling over here. Oh, it's a halfling. I thought it was a goblin. No, goblin would oh, be I green. Can. All right, uh, fine. We're learning. Yeah. All right, I so here's, I got you. here's a series of events that happens. The uh, lizard folk, Rushk, pulls a dagger. Enoch, you fire it at him. You fire your gun at him, and it hits him just like straight in his hand. Like you, you drew, like quick draw, whoosh. And he goes to throw the dagger. Ah, it falls into the water. And uh, he turns to you. You have revealed yourself, over? and I'm going to roll over? their initiative. Quick. I and hate it here. <laughs> Focus on that. I, I, sniped, I sniped him. <laughs> Focus on that. That was with the gavel. Keep in mind, yeah. uh, that was with the gavel. I'm going for him. I've got it. And his strength save, he's fine. He does not fall Dang prone. It. All right. Well, I still got to oh, roll. They all, go. they all go before fuck. Oh, Shit. No. okay. This is fine. I'm so afraid. Also, Nathaniel right. Renee, who wants to go first since you both rolled 15s? Um, I would like to go first. I have a very good idea. Fine by me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. All right. Enoch, you're up first. You just fired off a quick shot at Rushk. All right. And there is a charmed human on Axebeak next to you. Well, he he doesn't seem like he's going to be bothering anybody, uh, specifically me, as I am ally. I am going to uh, okay. go ahead and I'm going to use my ring of haste. Mm -hmm. And that's going to give me a whole round of action plus two to my AC. So that puts me up to 18 and my speed is double. Nice. So 
Oh, haste that is such being... a good spell until you fail it. Yeah, yeah it, no, oh. haste is such a good spell until after combat. Yeah, no, the exhaustion effect on it is fucking gnarly. Yeah, yeah if you get shot or hit, like if you get hit and you fail that uh, Constitution save, you're gonna feel the effects real quick. Uh huh. Yeah. No, I've learned that the hard way. Yeah, it's it, right. it's great until it isn't. All right. So okay, with that okay, being so. said, I still have my other round, and yeah, no, we're just I'm just gonna dump. Dump two shots into Mr. Lizard Man. Mm hmm. All right. First one's gonna be a 21. Okay, yep, that's gonna hit. Second, second one's gonna be a 16. Second one, uh, he parries it with a, with a, another dagger. Just ting! It, he's oh. a badass. You hit okay. one! Okay. Yep, the you first one. one. This guy scares me. Ah! Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yep, the yeah. first one just like well, lodges into his shoulder, just foof. All right, and then you wanna know what? Action search. Action surge. All right. Show oh, yeah. me the action surge. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Action surge. And I am glad uh, all spider abilities are restored, like m mostly uh, on like a short rest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. 14. 14 does not That's hit. That's going to be a no. Nope. No, Those 14. other two, he's Dang he's it. he's dodging and weaving and moving side to side like a blur. All right. Well, that was everything I had in a single round. Anything you want Kuro to do? How far are you away? Orc. Oh wait, he's broken, right? Uh, Did no, I, I I mended him when he got back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh, he, he would have. Hurt. See, how far is Kuro away from the feet. main guy? Oh, oh, from from uh, which guy? From the uh, from the lizard man. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Uh, let's get him about. I'm gonna make him go under Nathaniel's feet and just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can't <laughs> he's gonna the bark. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> he's gonna bark. Uh. Let's see with four strike. Nope. Ah. Uh, nope. Oof. Nope. <laughs> he boofs at him aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> he tries. All right. <laughs> and that's everything I have in a single round. All right. Nice. Uh. So uh, on the protector the slash really... NPC's turn. Oh boy. Rush is believe... going to. Uh, what's up? I cannot believe I did nearly fucking 40 <laughs> points of damage in a single round. So Rushk, uh, grasping just like his hurt arm, he just uh, cry. He makes a few barks. You hear, oh, 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 and you can <gasps> hear, you see that only the elf kind of gives back a reply whistle. And he makes some, some kind of signal. The charmed Basham. And the oh. elf uh, nods hops up off of oh. his axe beak and is going to wild shape. Oh no, he's a druid! Well, this is very cool. Oh no! no I'm, I'm down with going scary to things to fight. Oh, and he's no, now going wild down this shape. path. Uh, I do have one minor discrepancy. What's up? Being friends with me doesn't make them not friends with the fish man. Uh, and also they do retain their memories. So whatever the fuck that business ah. is. Ah! Uh -huh. I don't like. They still know what that means. They they, they haven't stopped knowing things. Never that said, mind. If then. you want to do this anyway, I'm Ooh. I'm cool with it because I have so, ideas. All right, anyway. they all whistle back in unison. Never mind. Keeping that Ooh. in mind, I didn't know that that's exactly okay. okay. Thanks that's for cool. thanks cool. for letting me know. Hey, they all whistle like back. Want to run it the other way? I'm fine. But he does go. He does wild shape anyway. Uh, and he's going to wild shape to. into a wild shapes. a giant vulture. This guy, oh no! Oh shit! Drow ah. vulture! And he is gonna. Oh no! Down. I don't. <laughs> no. I don't like that. No! Let's no! See. I don't like this. Oh, no! I might. Be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. He's oh, I don't like up. this at all. He's gonna pick okay. me up. He is gonna pick you up. It's okay. I have a plan for if you fall. He likes, I do have I, something if, I can if do. If he leaves I, my area of threat square, he will not pick you up. <laughs> I'm not worried about <laughs> falling. Can sentinel him. So, yeah, uh, no, I'm worried about him getting his claws in you. He flies <laughs> over here, and he's gonna <laughs> go for the person who is well, they I, see as the biggest threat. No. Well. Ah, yes, the horses. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank now you. you can't flee. <laughs> now you can't run away. Okay. You see this no. beast of the sky fly towards you, Nathaniel, and immediately just like thrust its beak just like straight at you and just <laughs> blashes you in the chest until the wind is knocked out of you. You take 
I would like to intercept this damage, please. Oh, you uh, I would like to spend my reaction to to invoke my fighting style interception because Nathaniel was within five feet of the echo. Ah, yes. Okay, roll your 1d10 plus your proficiency. Yes, 1d10 plus. What is our proficiency this time? I think it's Uh, three. Three. It's three. Our proficiency right now is... Oh, uh, well, that reduces it by 11. Oh, shit. Yay! Nathaniel. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. You this take... is why interception is the best fighting style. Okay. It, it nearly gets at you, just like you are able to dodge out of the way, but the exertion of force of you trying to move out of it exhausts you a little bit. You take one damage. Oh, so much damage for me. <laughs> I'm trying to protect you. I As promise. this thing flaps towards you. However, it does have a multi-attack, so it goes for it again. Well, no! What? I did what I could. I'm sorry. You did, you did, fair. Your, you did fair. so much more than is like, listen, thank God, honestly. My only purpose for Luna existing is to protect you, Squishies. Yay! And this second attack with its talons goes to slash at you and cuts you kind of just like right on the arm. You take nine damage. Oh, uh, so much damage. Watch my health drop. Boop, that's nine damage. <laughs> oh, my oh my God, you bastard. And you stinky so, bastard. So the rest of them... Uh, we'll try to protect you, yeah, uh, Nathaniel? As if uh, they are friends? N- or Not necessarily. No, they they are not inclined to fight on my behalf unless they were already inclined to fight. They, so, they avoid violence unless already inclined to fight on my behalf. They have no reason to attack their own people right now. Okay. So yeah, they're so just going to sit like, what aside. Are you doing? <laughs> yep. Sure. And, and Rushk notices this. What are you doing? You're... Oh, you bastard. <laughs> And he smart me if I wasn't being killed by a bird. <laughs> He's gonna leap into the water. Oh, oh you bastard! You stinky bastard! And uh, so you only have one target right now. The others are kind of just like standing aside. And Kara is going to come up, and she almost like shoves you out of the way, Nathaniel, and just holds up her hand, kind of her bony armored hand, and she's gonna cast blight on the bird. Oh! Flashbacks to Blood's Dread. No, yep, no. Yep, you know what's yep, awesome yep. when it's on our side? <laughs> it's amazing when it's on our side, but I'm getting mad well, we flashbacks. Know how bad Ka- you know how bad Kara's Blight hurts. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Well, it would Still if it would hit, but it doesn't. Uh, the oh. bird is oh. flapping and making a scene that kind of distracts her. Gah, stay still. Nathaniel, it's your turn. Right, I think that I've overstayed my welcome here. I am going to bring my hand up and wave it through the air. Pink lights, or sorry, pink lines will shoot out, connect with myself. Uh, let's see, are you within? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast, of course, sorry, I forgot. I, sh- I need to say, I'm casting my Mantle of Inspiration, uh, which allows me to pick up to five people now uh, that are within 60 feet. And so that's going to be myself and all the boys uh, and also all the girls. So myself, <laughs> Enoch, Renee, uh, even Kara can get in on this and oh. Luna. Uh, and we Yay! all, we can all use our reaction to move move up to our speed, and we also get eight temporary hit points. You're welcome. Thank Yay. you. All right, Thank awesome. You. For the record, Nathaniel said head, focus on the on the head of the operation, right? Yep, that's what I said. But also, he dived into the water afterwards, so maybe plans have oh. changed. Regardless, don't worry, I'm, I have, it, don't well, worry, I have an AOE. I have 60 feet of movement right now. Yep, uh, go ahead. Yeah, because you're hasted. Oh, Two, my God. Three, four, five, oh, my God. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, that's eight temp HP, right? Yes, eight. Yes. Thank you All very right. much. Well, I could just rush into the. W- well, I'm gonna go where he where he was. Oh God, mm-hmm. why? I, I wouldn't why? You're ruining my plans. The water. You're ruining my plans. I'm throwing off the hat, and I'm gonna. S- and a gun like, fire underwater. Poorly, poorly. Oh, which is the reason? Which is the reason why I have a rapier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, All I'm right. a dex fighter. Don't, don't, don't at me. Uh, I'm gonna like seeing, at you for this. <laughs> seeing him run into the water, Renee literally face palms, yep. and we'll have to move this way, I guess. I'm gonna move away from the action. I'm fine. Go to you. <laughs> no, thing. you're not. No, no wait, yes. are you not moving? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. I haven't done my thing yet. I'm letting you all go because okay. I have a, a fun thing. Yeah, no, Renee's okay. just gonna go over here because I was going to do a thing. Cool. Carl's gonna I'm reposition gonna herself <laughs> over here. Good idea. Everybody has everybody else done their inspiration shuffle? Yeah. I've, done my, I've done my shuffle. The inspiration okay. shuffle. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to use my mantle of inspiration. Uh, keep in mind, I do not provoke attacks of opportunity. As I like almost glide right over here, and I'm going to glide onto the horse. 
and then as I the and then as I take the reins, I'm going to call out. If any of you would like to entertain a career in investigative work, please follow me. And I'm gonna hit go here. I'm gonna fucking leave with my action to dash. <laughs> Well, fuck. He's just got a bucket! Well, there he cool. goes! Yep, I'm gonna leave. I'm saying that to all of my charmed fellows. Hey, come on, come on, come on with me. Goodbye. All right, Goodbye, so everybody. Um, Goodbye. you can give me a persuasion for that to see who actually does want to start investigative work. Holy Do I get advantage shit. because you're charmed? I think that's how charmed works, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I yeah. believe so. But... Yeah, it is! Well, yeah. Uh, let's do this. Sure, all right, persuasion. Eh. I mean, you're probably gonna. Okay, That's 14. That's really bad. Oof. Oh my god, what is wrong with the dice? Any, anybody have inspiration? <laughs> uh, I, I had I bardic inspiration. It. Wait, I oh don't... shoot, I forgot to do a thing that I forgot that I could do. It's not do. a big deal. Damn it. Uh, Worst comes Next to worst, they'll stand around, I'll leave, life will go on. Okay. Next time. Nathaniel so, notes out of the campaign. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> just gonna leave. You're gonna leave. <laughs> You're gonna, gonna leave. leave. So a, a dash would put you off of the map, and I'll say you get far enough that you can leave combat. Is that what you wish to do? Yep. The Everybody else can fight as much as they'd like to, because as right. long as I leave and these guys aren't inclined to do anything, like, nothing is as good as them not, like, it, it's as good as them being knocked out. And I feel like I've done enough, so I'm gonna... Dip. Farewell. <laughs> Nathaniel leaves the combat. And you can say that this banana just split. Let me see. Get out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I already did. Yeah, like, stay out. <laughs> Leave. The thing is, I have not fleshed out these protectors enough to see who would be interested in becoming an investigator. <laughs> just a general. Just a general. Maybe, 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 maybe they'll see what you know what my pitch is, and all right, you know, do yeah. Whatever. Who knows? You can see knows? that the the halfling over here does seem like they might take an interest. They're just like, hmm, but they'll have to move on their turn. That's fair. Oh, whoops. Uh, next is Renee. Okay, your, your so boss I can, just I, bailed. <laughs> yep. No, listen. I'm I'm so used to this. Uh, it does not even phase me. So what I'm doing is basically hoping I don't die, and. First things first, for my action, I believe, yeah, she's still within earshot of me. So I am going to cast uh, True Strike, which we have like the, the thing, the point of the finger thing, but we have the custom thing of uh, an ally within earshot that you speak to learns the weaknesses of the creature you point to, mm -hmm. and the ally gains advantage on the next attack that they make. Okay, and which target? I am, I'm telling Kara. I'm basically like, Kara, the belt gets, <laughs> hit the belt now! Okay, <laughs> the yes. <laughs> Hit right. the plot. <laughs> and then um, bonus action, I am going to use, uh, I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration, but I'm going to give it to uh, both fighters because I'm using my first iteration of the Helping Hands. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, which allows me to, um, it's my pair of comfortable fingerless gloves, and it allows me to use a class feature or spell on, oh wait, it's a feature or spell on, my, on themselves. Fuck. I thought it was I could do it you on You can just multiple. inspire Enoch, because I still already, I already have inspiration. Does that technically mean I can inspire myself? So, exactly. no. Yeah, so that wouldn't work. Damn, Damn it! Oh, that makes me so sad! Because I was going to be so cool! <laughs> I'm totally like inspire you, Enoch, just, but I'm gonna inspire him by being a dick. Um, basically, <laughs> oh, she's just going to like point at him and be like, "You know, I'm going to cast something in that fucking pool, right?" Fucking asshole! You can feel, you can feel a middle finger jab at your cheek. That is your bardic inspiration. <laughs> Specifically, the middle finger pressing against your cheek. <laughs> Not right. a single shit given. You fucking right. idiot. <laughs> Wonderful. So, God oh, uh, damn it. By the way, I'm also going to use my movement to, you know, kind of maneuver still over near the trees, kind of hiding I, in the trees. I, I, I am replacing uh, the gavel with objection, not a rapier. Mm. Because uh, guess who? Uh, guess who doesn't uh, have to worry about disadvantage at range anymore? But would you be underwater? But you're still? underwater. Hmm. Well, okay, we'll worry about that on your turn. Yeah. Renee, is We're that just your turn? Up. You're true striking and inspiring Enoch. Yep. All right. I guess. Because <laughs> I can't do the thing I was going to do without hurting Enoch. 
Oh, okay. please. I haven't, I have not taken a bunch of damage this campaign. You would right, have been Luna, fine. Your turn. I'm going to argue drawing upon my monster hunting knowledge for this. I want to see, I want to gaze across the water here and see if I can see where maybe there might be some air bubbles coming up from where uh, our little lizard friend is hiding, whether he's dislodging air that might have been caught in in plants or it's its breathing. I'll say perhaps this could take a free action for your free action to give me a perception check. Okay, I will be adding bardic inspiration to this probably most likely. <laughs> Would you like to use your oh. bardic inspiration? I don't think bardic inspiration is going <laughs> to fix this. How the fuck did this you go normal from inspiration. to natural 20 <laughs> in a single... This ain't your daddy's inspiration. <laughs> so scanning the water, it's too dark. You can't quite see. And well, uh, yeah. it's too dark, you said. Well, I have something to fix that. Because this will still hit him, even if he's in the water, if he's within 10 feet of me. Radiant so, consumption? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Oh, me radiant also, consumption. Don't worry. don't worry, I have dexterity saving throw advantages right now. So. I'm not worried about you at all, man. You, okay. you made your own bed. So if he is within 10 feet of me, he will start taking radiant damage. And I believe my consumption has gone up. I'll put that in the chat because I... Hold on, is that it? Yeah, how much damage is it? Like... There we go. Uh, yeah, okay, so I need to go ahead and take two damage. All right, awesome. It is four damage now, I believe. Yes, that. And I guess I want to hold my action for if he surfaces. Okay. Um, he surfaces around me. Then you're going to use your reaction to attack? Yep. Okay. Go bap. Go smack. You are under the water. It's very dim. However, you can see something of a silhouette uh, further ahead of you, kind How of well around this area. How well does dark vision work under here? Well, I mean, you can see kind of generally where he is uh, because okay. it's like, you know, dark vision helps above the water, but you're on like a new level of darkness, advanced okay. darkness, because, you know, you're under yeah. But you can see generally where he is, and you could probably make an attack on, on him at disadvantage since you're underwater. Okay. I'm going to swim towards him. Okay, yep. I'd say like right about there, as you could okay. probably see he's like around here somewhere. Uh, just so, just so you know, Enoch, you are in the damage zone. I know you have resistance, but you, if you stay there, you will start taking radiant damage. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. First and foremost, uh, for my first bonus action, uh, I'm going to cast Expedious Retreat, just in case. Okay. I need it. <laughs> just in case that I need it. And as my action, I'm going up with the rapier, and I'm going to... See if I can stab him a couple of times. Okay, of show course, me course, rapier with disadvantage. with disadvantage. That yeah, does uh, not hit at 13. So if you want right, to make another, well, another attack again. Gonna, uh, this is not going well. No, you're, you're stabbing and stabbing in the water. However, you're not able to. Damn it. Nope. Well, second round <laughs> from haste. I'm just going to go. You want to know what? I'm just going to keep going. I, there's no there's no point to, to resurfacing. All right. Let's see the second attack, or rather the advent. All right, that one does okay, hit. So you are able to snag a little bit of something. Show me the damage. All right. Nice. Okay. Thing. All right, and uh, this is my second attack. Oh god, this is so this is getting way out of hand. All right, seventeen, 17? does hit. Okay, fun. We're doing it. All right, nice. <laughs> Another slash. As you see, blood kind of coming from where you swiped. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to take the risk of an attack of opportunity and get the fuck out of there. All right, let's see if he hits you. He does. All right, and he has sentinel. Oh. Uh, wait. Oh. Uh, he has yeah, sentinel. My armor, class, my armor class is 16 or 18 right now. Yes, because of haste. Yes, it cool. is. But then if he oh. hits you, you still can't move. All oh, right. now you're stuck underwater. God. <laughs> well, you did say that you're oh. not going to resurfacing anytime soon. Well. Uh, <laughs> I think that means Enoch is taking is absolutely taking radiant damage then. Yay! And I'm glad you agree, damage. Enoch, because um, Rusk believes the same thing. Wait. As he is going to try and grapple you. Your choice Ooh, of athletics you or acrobatics to contest. Uh, yeah, acrobatics. I'm more dex. Mm, I'm going to use my inspiration. Go ahead and use your inspiration. <laughs> so you have you get an eleven. Eleven to contest. Enoch, you are grappled underwater. Oh, oh fun. 
just just for for the sake of this, can is the is the water splashing around? Are we aware that now you can Enoch see? Is yes, you can see bubbles coming up from the struggle yeah. and the movement. Yeah, because uh, he can now still struggle. Priority. He just can't move if he's grappled. Yep. So no. Cool. Okay. This no, is not a big threat are. since that you, helps me. you have two minutes, which is 20 rounds of combat. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's just, you know, he could I'm also continually try to... So he generous. could just snap your neck that in those 20 so rounds generous. of combat, though, yeah, so he could we might want to get you, you out. Yeah. And keep in mind, Enoch, yeah, you do take you uh, eight damage, so remember to subtract that from your HP. Oh, I already did. Uh, you already did? That, okay. Those were temps. That was all temp HP. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Mantle of Inspiration. I went over my uh, my yeah. thing, and it's not yeah. it's uh, it's not on their turns. It's on I, my turn that they take yep. the right. damage. Okay. That was I my remember bad. now. Thank you. The rest of the protectors notice yeah. that like things are not going well, seeing as all of them are not fighting. They're like, if we continue, you know, got the look on their face, and they just call out to each other, and they're gonna retreat. <gasps> oh my they're god! Fucking off! Yes, all of bitch. You're okay. All of them? Oh, not all of them. Oh. One of them. So Wait, this one this, leaves. Oh. This one leaves. Because the dagger didn't actually hit that orc since it was shot oh. out of the hand by Eno. <gasps> Yay! This one oh, yeah, there's still the vulture that's here. I forgot. The that's vulture's not still a... here. However, this that's one, him. actually, this halfling was swayed by Nathaniel, so he's going to try and go this way to follow him. <laughs> yeah. However, your what trusty you brother to? sees this as a threat, and he's going to run no! forward and you try and... Moron! <laughs> ah! Oh, so he's trying to go moron! after... They're going after Mr. Nathaniel. I'll help. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and this? he's gonna he's tackle the halfling so to the trying. ground. Oh no, Francis! No, Francis! Oh, he just wants to be like his big sister. And gives like oh. a hook to the face of the halfling. Misses. Oh. But they're both prone. <laughs> oh my God, he's prone! You fucking moron! And lastly, Kara is going to conjure something. You see large, two large, kind of skeletal, bony hands m burst from out of the ground. It throws dirt kind of a few feet away from it from the sheer force and grabs the two talons of the vulture and pulls it to the ground. The vulture's now prone. Oh. Yes! Oh, dear. And you can see oh, her making okay. motions of the hands and pulling, kind of making her own hand motions that the bones mimic. <laughs> Someone might want to hit this thing. Oh, man. Renee. Oh, my God. Your turn. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I see my mission, but I see my brother, but I see my mission. Ah! I believe in you. Ah! You got this. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Well, the plans, all my plans, all my plans, all my beautiful, beautiful plans. The bird is the biggest all, threat. If it so, helps at all, I've got Enoch if you want to take care of the bird. I'm gonna shatter the bird. Oh God, the, I'm gonna kill the horse and the dog. How is the horse not run away? Oh, you know what? That's a good point. The horse would, loyal. the horse would. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say that. I just yelled at Rick to move, That was my only please. thing in my way. No, yeah, my bad. That's, that's me not paying yeah, attention. Okay. There's a lot going on. <laughs> No, it's the horse okay. Would run I, away. Just, I appreciate you doing that Good for roach. me. Good roach. Um, so this has a ten foot radius. Um, my beautiful, beautiful shatter. So I can totally hit this bird. With, I think without hitting Kudo. Pretty hit sure. The bread or the echo. Yeah. yeah. Hit the bread. Keep in I'm mind, gonna hit it, the bread. <laughs> I'm mind, gonna hit uh, the bread. If Kuro makes his save, uh, he takes. Bread. Bread. I got the bread. Team. <laughs> Okay. Constitution. Oh, All right, sick. a loud crackle emits from uh, where? Something okay, right yeah, you here. Put it yeah. there. Oh, okay. But yeah. uh... oh, wait. no, just kidding. <laughs> I'd rather hit your dog than my brother. I'm sorry. Francis <laughs> would take it if you put Francis it there. Francis is not taking it. I'd rather hit the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know the dog can be mended. Things to take I out of context. Fix it. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's about to be extra crispy, so you know. <laughs> All right, so the shatter it's a, it's is DC 16, save, so. Not a dexterity. Constitution, yes. Yeah, so. Okay. I mean, either The way, shatter goes dog. off and a loud crackle. Uh, Nathaniel, you could hear it like loud and clear, this loud crackling sound. And it kind of blows a lot of the grass around the area. And ooh, you can see that the vulture just like lowers its head, like kind of quivering in pain. Good. I'm using my movement to go over to my brother. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering I where that XP. Kuro shuts down. I'm sorry, Kuro. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he shut down from that. And, and you can see Francis is just kind of like 
laying on, kind of like on top of this halfling. I've got them, Rene. Quick, knock them out. Oh my god, I, I can't oh do anything no. with my action at the moment. No. So what I'm going to do is, um, because I still have it with me, and it's a bonus action, I believe, because it's my bardic inspiration. Yep. I only have one left, but I can use that inspiration to... Uh, God, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? As a bonus action, I can expend my bardic inspiration and choose a creature I see within 60 feet. And the creature subtracts the number rolled on this next saving throw it makes before the start of its next turn. Okay. So I don't listen. I'm just, I'm, I'm wanting to hit it with something, knowing that it <laughs> feels something. As I'm looking at my, my freaking brother, and I'm like, what did I just say? Like, what did I say about you running if we had to fight? Uh, but he, he, he's a little bit lost for words. Oh, like she is, she's not saying, but like clearly in her face is like not necessarily angry. It's just like distressed. Yeah. Like, <gasps> He's just gesturing back and forth at the, at the halfling and towards the direction of the animal. But duh, 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 duh. He, that man always has a plan. I don't know how it always works out for him, but it does. He is very, he's very convincing. <laughs> so is that your turn then? Yep, that's all I can do. <laughs> All right, Luna, you can see bubbles coming from where uh, Enoch was, as if there, you can see that there's a silhouette of a struggle going on. Cool, 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 because uh, there's this something, I was reminded of something interesting that I read on Twitter, and I was going through my uh, manifest echo to check out. My echo can technically appear in any direction as long as it's 15 feet, ah. uh, including above me. Just, Do you, so that, that also, also means, means below, below you. Me. Do you want to put hey! the echo in the water? <laughs> yes, um, because I am also going in the water. I just want that lovely, uh, that lovely flank when I try to, uh, I don't know if it'll help, but maybe being surrounded will help if I try to, to grapple this motherfucker who's grappling Enoch. All right, I'll say, yeah, with like two people down there just kind of surrounding, you can see clearly if uh, where Rush is. Lovely. Yeah, no, I want you to You can see him, that please. he is just kind of like holding Enoch with one arm and he sees you come down. Yeah, no, I'd like to, uh, if possible, jump on him when I do this. Mm. Are you trying uh, to make your but, own grapple check? Yep, I am trying to grapple him. All right. I assume athletics I is what... Yeah, 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 athletics, I think. You may. I don't I don't think I did because I said I was going to before and I never How, did. So. You did not, How so does... you can use it. He's <laughs> gonna try and use his acrobatics instead. Would you like to use your bardic inspiration? I think yes, for safekeeping, for safe right. measure. I think, because I want to make this impossible for him to empty eight. Get that, get that eight. Get okay, that eight. 27. <laughs> 27. That's so good. Yeah, no way he's getting out of that. You have him grappled now. Grapple chain. Uh, well, <laughs> um, is it an action to try and move him, or is my speed just halved to try and pull him out of the water? Yeah, mm -hmm. you spent five movement to get into the water, so, uh, I have so you 25. have 25 left. It'll cost twice your movement to move. Yeah, so I'm just, I, I just want to pull him on the shore, because I'm assuming pulling him out will also pull Enoch out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the while, I'm just like... <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, Echo's, Echo's gonna, yeah. Echo's gonna come, Echo's gonna move, and just... All right, yes, you pull him to the shore. Uh, He's out yes. in the open. And I, I, I just like to, to yell at him if I can. All of your men have deserted you, so you can either stop now or I can kill you. Those are your options. Give me an intimidation. Strength, this never works. This never works. 13. This never okay. works. Uh, he just hisses <laughs> back. Well, then you might as well gut my throat if you're going to be siding with the necromancers. <laughs> Fine. That but can be arranged. I really <laughs> didn't want to do this. So I assume that's your turn, Luna, because that was an action to grapple. Yep, yep. Unless you want an action that... surge or anything. Mm, you know, kind of, because we're about to have a... I forgot that that was a thing I could do. I'm so sorry, uh, Aaron. But yes, I think I would like to act action surge to punch this motherfucker. Yeah, He's no, not do it, my do sword. it, do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, punch no, do him. It. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I want to knock him out. <laughs> Mm. I said I was gonna kill him. He didn't believe All me. Hands. I'm gonna knock if him he out. Was, if he's low enough, well, he ha he has taken a lot of damage actually. <laughs> yeah, well, and I if I do this, this is two on arm strikes. This <laughs> You're is two welcome. attacks by action surge. So <laughs> right, you may one. That's Ooh. Holy Ooh. Shit. All right. Okay, hold on, and that means the damage from my unarmed strikes is three. So I don't know if you wanna double yeah, I'll that. Yeah, double that. That's a crit. that's a crit. So six. Yep. And one more. 
That's a mean Bop punch. Bop him in the fucking 18, yep. so another three. So also, I'm still radiant consumpting. I'm sorry, oh. Aaron. Yep. So um, Wait, he takes it, an extra it... four. You take two because you're resistant. Okay. Which no, I, oh, I don't think I have to roll too high for a con with that. Oh my One god. One switch, <laughs> and he's about to make another snarky re remark. Uh, I thought you were, and you knock him out. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Straight clocked him. He's out cold. We still have a bird. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Sorry about that. Um, I needed to help the drowning man. So. <laughs> I wasn't drowning. Oh, you, oh you I have words. Listen, I have, I have I had plenty a plan. Of... No, what was it? <laughs> I was gonna keep stabbing him until he let go. Ah, great plan. Oh, just kiss you anyway, Enoch, turn. your turn. Just go for it. It's a good plan. My turn. So he's knocked out. He's, he's done. knocked out cold. Yes. Yeah, he's and I will say Luna would make a point to be like, I want him alive. All right, and the only you, thing did we you roll have your to... haste yet. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, from yeah, the yeah, radiant consumption. You just you need a ten. That's all. Oh. Never mind. You're exhausted. Oh. I am so sorry, Aaron. <laughs> Uh, oh god. You are no longer hasted. So you do not gain a level of exhaustion. That's not exactly what the spell does. Oh, you don't? It means you it means you cannot move or take actions until after your next turn. So you lose a turn is effectively what oh. happens. Ooh. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aaron. But I'm it is so better sorry. than a level of exhaustion. It exhaustion. is yes, better than exhaustion. Infinitely. It's temporary. infinitely better yeah, than yeah, a level of course. exhaustion. It's a lot more temporary than exhaustion. Oh, well, it's fine. I need to catch my breath anyways. Mm. On the protector's turn, uh, this bird is gonna try and peck at the hands. Yep, it breaks out of its kind of bony grapple, I guess, and it's gonna flee. Oh, it, bitch! It just gets up and flies. Kara's gonna try and take an attack of opportunity against it. Hit it, Kara! Hit it, Lionel! Hit it, Kara! She does. You see one of her her bony nice. kind of like armored arms extend out into a blade and slash at it. However, it's still up and alive, so it flies away anyway. Ah, well, bitch. we thought we sure showed it. <laughs> and uh, this halfling is gonna push Francis off of him. And yep, easily, because Francis does not have that high of a strength. And Baby. Uh, <laughs> he's Are you gonna run. Renee, you have an attack of opportunity on this halfling. Nope. Do you take it? I, if he was running like towards Nathaniel, like, well, actually, hold on, question. Can I get a look at what this guy, like, does he look like he's he's hostile? Uh, no, he seems to be fleeing now. And okay. uh, what he's gonna do is he's gonna get I on his ax beak and run away now instead of towards Nathaniel. Cool, cool. I'm okay with him just running away then. Yep. That's fine. He leaves Renee the combat. Just, like, <laughs> and with that, combat is over. And <sighs> yep, you guys have fended yourself off from the ambushing protectors. Well done. <sighs> Are you okay? She's like grabbing onto her brother, like checking his face. Like, did did he hit you? Are you okay? Like, oh no, he was nothing. I pushed him to the ground. Did you see that? It was so cool. Oh, my yeah, heart is beating so fast. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was so scared. I saw him heading for Mr. Nathaniel, and then I was like, oh, I have to do something. I can't just sit here. Did you did you know what he was running to Nathaniel for? Well, he, they Did are the protectors, no? They, they are bad and they were going to kill him. They are the protectors, you're right. But if you listened to what Nathaniel was saying earlier, he actually tried to convince people to go with him. So for all you know, he might have just been going to go and like conversate. You can see it dawn on his face and he's like, Oh, oh but, but, but what? But he, he, I, I, I I'm not reprimanding you. She just grabs his face and just, just try to be more observant. But I thought okay? he, I see, I saw. I, I, I know what you were thinking and it is understandable, but now for next time, you know how, how he works and you know what his plan, plans tend to be. He just puts one hand on his forehead and just kind of like rubbing it. Merda, adventuring is confusing. It is confusing, but that's why you travel with people and learn their strengths and weaknesses so that you can better help each other, right? <sighs> and speaking of helping each other, she like looks over at Enoch. Did you have a nice swim? I looked down at Kuro. What happened? I had to toast him a little bit to get rid of the giant fucking belt. So why are we mad at me? She just As like I looks get at down him. down on both knees and I'm going to start mending. She just looks at him and then like gestures to like probably her arms is like because of her, her previous thing, her arm is probably still pretty black and she just gestures at it. And she's like, I didn't have a lot of options of what I could do. 
And neither did I. Look at the circumstances. You have a gun! Kara steps in between you. I expected you to bicker, but right now we need to figure out how to get your friend back. Do you have any sending? She just looks back at Renee. I would if I had gotten enough sleep. But I oh, he's going to circle back around. Nathaniel, do you plan on circling back around? Yeah, if that big old bird that I think is still chasing me isn't in the sky, eventually I am going to stop because I expect the the protectors to, like, follow me. Mm -hmm. When you none of them follow me, I get a little confused because what's-his-face intercepted the only one that was going to. <laughs> so, like, I'll wait a minute, and then I'll start to, like, move back towards the camp as the the one that got intercepted finally makes its okay. way to me. Yeah, so right. I'll say you, you probably make it back to camp with a reasonable assumption. Can say this is a thing before we wake this bastard up. Can I just say I've tied him up, please? Oh, yeah, here, let me yeah. put a little thing. Yeah. Yep. I'll have okay. communicated that I just want to have a word with this guy alone. Right, right, right. Okay. Are you going to tie him up first? That way he's he already explain. he's already tied up. Don't worry. I, I love it. that. I love that. Uh, that. Yeah. Okay. I uh, don't worry. I took care of it. His weapons are off him too. Okay, right. fantastic. I, I'm gonna try and look for Nathaniel. Uh, where, well, where he he came where back to the camp. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, I guess yeah. we can. Talk about, we can start with Luna first, with interrogating this guy. Yeah, uh, I guess I'd try to wake him up from, yeah. you know, being clocked in the face. Car's gonna come watch. Francis is just gonna tend to the horses. And, oh. yep, you shake him awake, and he comes hey. to and slowly lifts his head to you without saying a word. Oh, rise and shine. Listen, I just want to have a word with you, and then we're gonna figure out what we're going to do with you. You can talk, or you can not. It's really up to you. He simply tilts his head and smiles without saying anything. I first want to know what exactly made you join up with the protectors? He... Hatred of necromancy, running, chasing coin, couldn't get any better job with better bosses. And what do I get got to gain from telling you, huh? Better opportunity, maybe. One that isn't working with necromancers, my dear. And I can trust that from you, eh? And he turns and looks at Kara, who's crossing her arms. Yes, because she's not with the Spine of Death or the Black Fane Queen. She, you all made assumptions. He tilts his head the other way. Ah, but she's still a necromancer, ain't she? Pulling up and, bodies, being a corpse mage. And only to defend herself, the only spells you've seen her cast are when you've attacked her. But she's still defiling <laughs> the dead, ain't she? I'm, I want to know just exactly the names of the people that she's defiling. Does it matter? And I mean, I Kara, would... Kara just takes a step up. I raise who I please. Kara, please. Listen, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try and convince you otherwise, because frankly, I think you're probably set in your ways. But I'm just giving you the chance. Listen, I, I just want to know why you involved yourself in this. If it's a hatred of necromancy, we can have a conversation. If it's looking for better coin, I can get you a better opportunity. Give me a persuasion. Sure. Let's see how this goes. That's the 14. That could be worse. He turns his head to Kara and doesn't, and just kind of locks eyes with her and doesn't take his gaze off. I really got say, a better you... job for me than turning in Kara Miharian to the authorities. Yes. The war criminal that Belkinus has been hunting for decades. What if we have been hunting the wrong person? Hmm. Does that mean anything? So then all the people she's hurt, doesn't matter, does it? All the things With she's done. All the things she's done? What exactly has Kara Mihari and done, not the Black Vein Queen? Kara steps up, I siphoned. I've taken many people for the benefit of my powers, for my research, without a single inkling of remorse. You know, and she, she leans down, just oh. like face to face with him. And I'll do it again. Kara, please. What? I don't step answer back. to you. I'm asking you. I'm not telling you. Asking you to please step back. She just takes a step up to look at you, Luna. If you want a chance at this working, do you want a chance? Fixing everything in Belkinus right now. Making things easier. Do you want that chance, Kara? She looks at you just face to face, her cold gaze, like she tries to keep up a a cold, like, mean stare, but just is having trouble looking at you. And she just shakes her head and just walks away. 
does, does a little grunt, steps past yeah. Enoch without saying a word, and goes to the Turn horses. Back. Turn back to Mr. Lizardfolk. She's hurt Enoch. a lot of people. And so have you. So have the protectors ransacking a, a, a town that's just trying to exist. We were providing a service. Providing you saw a the service. spine of death attack the place, try and recruit more people? Yes. Of course I've seen it. But does that mean every single person who casts a spell like that, does that mean they all deserve some sort of form of retribution for the for the actions of a few? He just looks down and seriously considers this. His eyes are darting left and right. Listen, I'm, I'm not someone who has no idea what necromancers have done. I'm a daughter of a veteran from the war, and I've seen the, the carnage that these... The, <sighs> This cult has has caused but what we're trying to do here is fix it bring who needs to be brought to justice and maybe make some change then what do you need me for competent swords are always handy you've heard my friend back there yes the witch taker yeah he's taken a he's taken a in a few buddies of mine in the past didn't mm -hmm. quite see what the benefit in that was or why he would do that i mean Sometimes you, as far as I understand, sometimes you need people that also work in the uh, the seedier corners of the world. You need people who are familiar with them. I have two questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, first, is this within earshot of everybody? Well, I um, assume we're not hiding it, right? Yes, Luna just asked to have this conversation alone. That's fair. Uh, yeah. If I, you want to jump in, that's totally fine. Just know that's what she uh, asked. Nope, that's okay. I don't need to jump in. One small thing. Uh, I didn't want to cut the tension, but I've been holding on to this for a really long time. I kind of expected it to jump to, like, me walking in on the horse, and my finger is getting really tired. So this is going to cut the tension, and I apologize. You know but... what? Go ahead. That's... <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my it's God. It's banana time. Oh. <laughs> You, you were all like, hey, let's get, like, the candle comes in. I'm like, yes, I do. No, 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 no. God, no, my finger like, hurts. No, Sorry no. about that. Yes. That's fine. Absolutely I thought, fine. I that thought, was worth it. Davi, that is on on me. I thought, like, you were over there because you, I thought you were just going to go over there to do stuff. I didn't yep. know you were preparing. That's like, on me. Nope. <laughs> makes sense. No, I, I do the stuff that, like that, that all makes the up time. for the lack of banana God. fact this episode. Damn it. Yay. I I was just, I was sweating because you were getting more intense, not less. So this definitely would have not been the time to do that all right yeah. i went back no, to where no, nathaniel no. is keep having yeah. your conversation perfectly, perfectly relevant to the conversation yeah. as he is part of the subject yeah. of it yeah no you are you were totally fine that was worth it that was funny all righty continue <laughs> all right okay. but, so uh, Ru uh rushk just looks around or if you don't want to join them because i understand if he might not want to his what he can do is quite terrifying actually think a fair point is made that that kind of magic can be just as dangerous if it's not used correctly. You saw what it did to your men, didn't you? He just looks down for a second. If if the majority of the kingdom can't see necromancy for what it is, who's to say they can do the same for us? Stop, stop villainizing the protectors, the people that are extorting poor villagers out of money, kidnapping people, ransacking homes... He just looks down. All right, that's not fair. No, you you are being just. Uh, this organization of yours is being just as terrible as uh, as the spine of death. If not slightly worse, considering you know you're practically destroying lives. I mean, both of them are practically destroying lives, Enoch. Well, technically, one's bringing them back, but I won't get into it. And just just because you don't understand the spell doesn't, and just because you don't like it doesn't mean you you have to really live with it. I fucking despise necromancy. Like Renee's saying this, like she's basically like focusing on the fires, like totally. But since someone else jumped into the conversation, she's just doing it too. I fucking despise it, but I can see the use that it has had. Just because I don't approve of it. Why do we have the right to? Why do we have the right to condemn somebody for their magical practice if it is actually if it really is not harming a single soul? No souls are being drip brought back from the dead. Nobody's being siphoned. Well, eh? She like looks over at Kara. <laughs> like she's she, Luna's just like waving her hand. I'm talking about in general. M like, almost there are every major, there are definitely major crimes that we can totally mm -hmm. focus on. Yes, but. 
people using a, a spell to dry herbs and using uh, e using a harm raising people that have agreed to be raised to help keep the town running doesn't to me sound like the nefarious necromancers I've heard about my entire life. Now I said that there was a second option if you didn't want to join the witch takers. I would like a third option if possible. What is that? You. You're uh She's mum... taken <laughs> Your mum's part of the guard, isn't she? Yes. I recognize your face. You all look similar. Yes, I suppose we do a bit. What? You are willing to hear out these necromancers. See that yeah. all their in all their plight, in all their troubles, that there was a story behind it. Yes, of course. I want mine and my protectors heard as well. Seeing that, um, Luna, who still has a little bit of a bottle of wine left, I think is going to uh, cut his ropes, very, like giving him an eye, like, you know, try anything funny and I'll knock you out again. Mm -hmm. Sit down beside him and pass him a wine bottle. Not here. Why don't, why don't we have this conversation for a drink then? Fine. He and, takes uh, the bottle and limps towards the fire. I was going to say, you look like you two will get cold over there if you sit around. Yep. I, so, right. so I that's... graciously smile at at Luna for this whole conversation. All right. Like, that uh, was really awesome. So, uh, Nathaniel, you get back, seeing as this one guy who tried to attack the group is being brought to the fire with a bottle of wine now. And Kara sees this as well, and she just scoffs and starts just uh, brushing and feeding the horses. Uh, I'm going to mosey on over towards the rest of the horses. The bell didn't hit you too hard, did it? Now I use helping hands to use healing word on myself and Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> I will yes. take it. And I'll do uh, second level because... You squishies, I swear to God, you give me so much anxiety. It's fine, don't worry about it. So we <laughs> no. both get... Uh, nine points. I meant That's to only more than my maximum. But... Oh, nine? Uh, in that ca just case, I'll respond. Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. I feel better already. Hmm, good to know. <laughs> she just like <laughs> rolls her eyes. <laughs> She's very used to this. I'm slide off of the horse, and I don't. I didn't know what happened with this guy, so I'm just oh. gonna. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to put him there. Where's that one protector that was, like, following me around? Oh, do you Where'd know that one? He kind of fucked off my brother, um, tackled him, and then he just kind Listen, of Listen, I, I thought he was coming to kill you, and then I, I saw him riding off, and I just was wanted to help. I just wanted to help. Oh, oh. oh so you... Oh, so you intercepted him then? Yes, he did. Yes. You did a very good job. <laughs> it's over like, oh, oh. Why can't you say oh. this to your son, Nathaniel? Because my son needs negative reinforcement. <laughs> Renee looks flabbergasted. <laughs> you can In see meantime, Francis has I'm, a big yeah. stupid smile on his face, just mouth open, <laughs> and kind of looking back at Renee and like pointing back and forth between himself and Nathaniel. Like, she has ah, a ah. matching open mouth, but instead of being happy, she's just more shocked of like, ah. I, I do not look him in the eye as I say that. I'm just saying that as I like, <laughs> as I in stride as I walk over here. I don't look at him. I just keep moving. Uh and then I I'll need, that, like you still need to take the lesson that was being taught to out. <laughs> just because oh. it succeeded does not mean that the lesson should not be learned. And I suppose that our bone queen is still perfectly fine. And Kara just like brushing the horse without looking at you. Yes, thanks to your mind control, witch taker. Well, very good then. And what of the last person? I see that someone has joined us for a drink. Uh, uh, you can see that uh, he just kind of like th like lifts the bottle like very gently in like a cheers motion. No odd feelings, witch taker. None taken. Many people tried to kill me. <laughs> Some of them. Some I feel like that might around. be a common occurrence. As I pass by, some of them even stick around. <laughs> mm, I suppose. You'd actually be very surprised of who we've recruited sometimes, because it can get very interesting. Right, well, yeah. as it stands then, it seems that Luna has these things covered. 
as for the rest of us, we should lick our wounds, as it were. The night is still dark, and the sun won't be up for a while. I know that I still need rest. Oh, well, please. If you would like to get some sleep, I'll stay up. Seems like I have a conversation to be had here. Oh, I'll see that uh, gonna... Rush looks a little uncomfortable. If she wants to kick your ass, she'll kick your ass. For the record, my weapons are sheathed. I'm mm -hmm. not going to hurt you unless you make any move to hurt me. That's Sorry, my deal. I'm just out of my element. It's <laughs> not exactly what I was planning. That's kind of a gig, you know? We kind of, like, take everything mm. out of the moment. Where do you suppose the rest of those protectors would have gone? Buggered off somewhere, trying to lick their own wounds, find a new plan, find a new place to exploit. Would they come right. back for you? Hopefully, uh, yes. They... Damn. Well, in that case, I'm going to take a horse and see if I can't round them up. And that spell won't last forever, and when it wears off, they might be a bit confused. Are you going to go by yourself? I don't see what dangers there are in the woods. She just gestures at this man who just tried to murder <laughs> us. Like, really? Yes. Are you seems... sure you don't want to rest, Nathaniel? I would love to, but if I do not round these people up, then most likely they will try to attack us again. Francis, do you want to go with Nathaniel? Actually, I would feel much more comfortable if someone with tracking skills or perhaps a sense of where people are in the world. Car, are you busy? Hmm. Fine. I think this could be a nice little trip. She well, there goes that. comes up. There goes that plan. Don't have too much fun. Hops on the horse with you. And uh, I assume you're going to ride off and kind of patrol the perimeter? Yeah. Exactly. I'm, my main goal is I need to find those four because the, spe it's the spell. The ability only lasts an hour. <laughs> mm. So you're so actively they, trying to recruit them. I don't need to recruit them. I need to round them up because the spell will end in an hour and they will no longer like me, which means they might just try to beat me up. <laughs> they might just come attack us again. they realize what happened. Right. <laughs> so this isn't recruitment as much as it is if I know where they are, I might be able to drown them in a lake or something. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Please don't drown All them right. in a lake. Oh my God, the There's a lot of a lot of options here. I'm All bringing right. an incredible. I'm bringing like a, a very powerful necromancer. Maybe they can kill them. Who knows? True. I'm, All right. I'm just gonna put you over here on the map and pretend that that's another place. Cool. Uh, and we're gonna Bye. we're gonna go to you in a little bit. That's fine. Meanwhile, you guys are mostly just kind of camping out and luna you're gonna have a conversation with rusk yeah yep you said you wanted the story of the protectors to be heard i'd be interested to hear it can't say i've ever i've found very many positive experiences but well, i'm open to broadening my horizons a bit all right when i was younger a long time ago grew up on the streets life was hard we had to scrounge for food steal things to survive knowing what and with it our reputation dwindled each one of us, friends, pals, just trying to live day to day. And we were known as scoundrels, thieves. It's hard to bounce back from that. No one wants to hire someone with a criminal record. Oh, you got that right. Ah, you would know, huh? You're an A. Oh, you know of me. Aye. Well, I'm flattered. She just kind of like does a little like... Aye, it was thanks to you snooping around that we found some nice shortcuts into uh, a few... Uh, Places, of oh, high houses. You're one of you're one of the reasons Chantel is pissed at me. Oh, I named a route oh. after you. It's an honor. <laughs> she like she like looks at the and then looks over <laughs> Francis like, oh no, like I'm being revealed. Fra Fra Francis brother. is just like, <laughs> like uh, Rene, what what what, the, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh, Rene. Oh, she mm. just pinches the bridge of her nose. Like, all right, well, there is no hiding this now. Oh, well, that is fun. It was nice while it lasted. Hello, everyone. If you did not know, I am like, she's just like, hello, everyone. If you weren't painfully aware of Chantal being literally pissed at me, I was very good at smuggling. Just <gasps> thumbs up. Like Francis, just like one hand oh, over his mouth. She just, she just, oh, psh. Listen, when you're trying to find something, oh, you wow. have to go through CD with Nord to make it work. And she like, let's go at Rush, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Sometimes you in order to get what you want, you have to do the things that aren't necessarily, like, you know, entirely okay with other people's morals. You can see that, uh... Like, <laughs> she's pointing at me? No, she's pointing at Rush. R Rush just uh -oh. lifts his <laughs> bottle. Aye, I hear that. See, look, 
there's only one way to get the attention of the witch takers, and wow. that was to commit crimes. They are very good at staying hidden unless you get yourself in trouble. So that was all I was wow. trying to do. Russ just takes a sip out of the bottle. Listen, when you're born at the bottom, you tend to stay at the bottom. You have to do what you can to survive. And people, people call you names for it, labels, to the point where you start to believe them. Anytime you try and convince someone and it doesn't work, you wonder why you even bother trying. And so I guess most of us see as there's no other option. If the whole world is going to see you as a thief, as a bandit, might as well embrace it. You know, I've heard that before, but it was from a few necromancers. Ugh, funny the whole that. world sees The whole world sees you as something evil, something to be condemned and destroyed, and at some point you begin to believe it and embrace it to protect yourself. And you think the kingdom will ever take in the necromancers? I think it's going to be a very long road. But I think the more people are able to see that maybe it's not as black and white as we've been told our entire lives, it might mean something. I mean, you've been living in the gray for most of your life. Can't you? People tend to only see what they know. People in the light of the city see the light. People in the dark of net of Clover see the dark. And it's so bright to each other that they tend to not see what's in the middle. Even if so, even if that person has done things that even they admit they're not proud of. And he looks down, he just kind of lets the bottle back on the grass. I think what everybody sitting here has done things they are not proud of. No one lives a life completely without regret. So it's about being better than you were yesterday. Being better now. Because that's all you can do. Whatever happened in the past, you can't change. Or at the very least, whatever you're doing ends up hurting you more than it hurts others. Tell me, what did you, so were you in the original forming of the Protectors, or did they they take you in? They took me in, saw that I couldn't go nowhere, gave me a job. I didn't quite like it at first, but seeing as there were no other options, I went with it. What kind of of jobs do you normally take? It started small, something menial, steal something from a rich folk here, push a guy around there. Then it started getting darker, heavier, harder to do. But when they're all back to back like that, and just a small escalation, I guess, I didn't notice. It just... oh, go ahead, go ahead. I just, I guess it just, with a small incremental change here and there, I guess I didn't notice. Looking back at it now, seemed like such a smooth progression. Is it only yourself you're supporting? Do you have family, siblings? I do. How many? Uh, got a little brother. Lives in Belkinus proper. Kind of in the slums. I've also got a grandmother. She's, uh, with some healers right now. Been one of the, uh, healing buildings. Quite a few months. I don't see her making out of there. So you took all this on to support them? Aye. But I see now that I don't think it matters. No, I think it still matters, but I think you can do it a different way. So, the kind of jobs you take? Tracking? Finding people? Finding things? I used to rough up up a few people who wouldn't pay the ransom. Eventually, turned to, uh, I'd rather not talk about what it turned into. Oh, you don't have to. I've probably seen it enough. What if I told you I could potentially get you in a better line of work, one that will pay a bit better and won't leave you with that much guilt? Well, then I'd say the gods have answered my prayers. If you can make it happen, I'd try to I see uh, if a few of my f- my folks and the protectors might do the same. Hmm. I would hope so. You are competent sorts. I hate to see, <laughs> I hate to see so much talent go to waste like that. Especially when there's so much honest work you could be taking. I have a contact in Chester City. If you follow us through this, I'll put you in contact with them. He clutches at his side. I'll see about that. For now, he just leans down. I need to put off this stab wound you gave me. (laughs) Oh, here, let me. And I'm going to lean my hand over and give him my healing hands. Aww. Aww. It's not much. It's like eight hit points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Sorry about that. I thought you were going to drown my friend there. So. Oh, I was. But, oh. uh... Glad you, know. you didn't. Appreciate you not doing that. To be fair, that is the line of work, so that's that's probably okay. And as she says that, yeah. I'm going to do another one of the the healing words on myself as well <laughs> as him because I can. Ah, this is only level one, but Aww. you get eight points of you healing. Yeah, it's just my shrugging my his shoulders. Yeah, it's part of the line of work. <laughs> All right, <laughs> deal with it. Now, while this conversation is happening, let's go over. In the meanwhile, to Nathaniel <laughs> meanwhile. riding around the perimeter with Kara. I'm like one of those girls find... that got a horse. <laughs> trying to find bodies. My damn RP part, dang it. Hair floats, my hair is flowing in the wind. Yeah, it's all beautiful. Holding onto Kara's waist as you <laughs> ride into the sunset. <laughs> oh no. No, I, I, uh, Kara sits behind me and is not allowed to touch me. <laughs> she does not. You, you see you... she is just holding on to kind of the back of her seat keeping herself steady as best she can. Ridden, that's so hard. <laughs> and while you're riding, she just speaks up. I don't like you, witch taker. <laughs> Is that so? I'm very disappointed. No, I've no I, like, I know what you've done. I like you very much. No, I've lived in this region long enough to know about your reputation and your story, especially the one that you tell people. I don't tell people much. Only no. what's already been repeated to me. But if we're on the subject of stories, I do appreciate how open you are with yours. Uh, especially earlier, as Luna tried to stick up for yourself, uh, for you, and you tore her down. Well, tore yourself down. It made her look like a fool a little bit. You think the people of this realm can be convinced to turn uh, a blind eye? No, not at all. It's why I use magic. Yes, that's right. You're an enchanter, aren't you? You simply change people's minds to believe what you want them to. How can I be sure you've not done the same thing to your friends over there? Oh, you cannot. But they are doing what's in your best interests. So if you were to poke around, and you discover that in fact that all of them had been enchanted to follow me following you... She you stops and she, she hops off the horse and immediately gets into a defensive stance. I will, I, like, I, I'll rear back on the horse a bit, and then I'll look, like, I'll, I'll give a glance back down to her. I'm not going to stare directly at her. There's something wrong. Mr. Gainsby, why do you think necromancy was outlawed? Well, let's not get overzealous. Necromancy is a macabre practice, even when used with only a pragmatic mindset. The simple fact is that we live in a world where People who die do not cease to exist. The bodies are still their own, even after they've gone to wherever they will go. And desecrating those bodies can negatively affect the very real system of afterlife that the soul now has no control over. If the gods were to see a corpse puppeteered by you, well, I'm sure that they would be very concerned. Ah, very but good. However, I say that that's ridiculous. As the body is no longer sentient, it has no pride to disrespect, no self to feel, and most importantly, no mind left to control. I'm not worried about, and you shouldn't be worried, about the pride of small people. It's the pride of the gods that you have to be worried about bruising. But I don't deny it. Enchantment is scary. It's, but it also circumvents the need for torture during interrogations. It can be used, as I have done, to save lives by removing them from what would otherwise be a very deadly situation, even if it is against their will. In fact, a less aggressive practitioner could even use it to help treat problems with mental health. But if you must put magic under this myopic lens, then yes, enchantment is very dangerous. So She, she squints her eyes. You are a monster. Well... I suppose that you just chose the wrong profession. Her eyes widen in shock at that. She simply turns the other way. I'm not taking any time away from those bodies that I raised, Mr. Nathaniel. And I see now that you have no problem taking the time away from those who are still living. I hope that your conscience sleeps well knowing that. 
so long as it can keep the good people living. I'm fine with taking a bit of time to give them back. What she starts deserve. to walk away like you did your father, Mr. Gainsby. Oh. My mouth twitches. Oh, he betrayed emotion. She starts to walk away. Good luck finding your victims. I'm heading back to the camp. Hmm. Of course. It would be unfortunate if Chandrel were to get her way. I'll have plenty of time to ponder that as I look for these people that might try to kill us. Perhaps you should think of the same thing before we start speaking of things we might not understand. She does not say anything in return. You see her walk toward it, just into the darkness, towards the direction of the camp. And I will go off to find the rest of the people. All right. You Oof. ride around, and it seems like you have a hard time finding anyone, except you find two just vacant axe beaks, the common mounts of the protectors, just on their own. Roaming on that. their own, uh, we could use their that. reins not being used. I'm going to move over to them, and I'd like to investigate them for any sign of, like, a struggle, or, or maybe something's been ripped. Were they just abandoned? It seems that way. With your passive investigation, you look at them, and it seems as though one's got, like, a sword scabbard without its sword so looking at it you make the plausible assumption that whoever this ryer was they drew their weapon but they're gone they had to fight something well silver lining uh, solves one problem. let's see i'm just trying to think of what all the other details with your fucking high investigation <laughs> uh, uh right uh let's just very simply uh how do the animals seem do they seem a little perturbed back before like do they seem like animals that would give a shit about their riders and if so do they feel like... They don't seem to give a shit about their riders. However, you do see that they're incredibly shaken. When you approach, they kind of squawk and kind of take a few steps back defensively. Ah, okay. Well, I am alone. I don't have that person I needed to keep me alive. So I am going to turn and hightail it back to camp. I think I'm <laughs> going to... I think I would reach Kara before she gets back to camp. Most likely, yes. You'd probably pass her up. Yeah, so, I, like, I'm moving quickly. I'm not, like, going at a full sprint, but, like, I'm moving quickly, and I will reach Kara. Mm -hmm. We need to put a posturing for the, aside for a moment. Something's in these woods. Of course there's things in these woods. It's woods. There are animals and creatures. Right, but also things that have killed those two protectors that I charmed. Get on the horse. We don't have to talk, but we need to get back to camp. She stares at you for a moment, and seeing just the straightness in your tone... Without another word, simply gets back on the horse. And he ah Gallop, galop, galop, galop. Galop, galop, All right. You head your way back to the camp. Cook with Kara in tow. You can see that about now, Rushk has fallen asleep. And Renee, you can see that your brother is also asleep. Like, he's got a dagger in his hand, but, like, as if he was going to, like, stand guard. But, like, he's just kind of, like couldn't help himself like like yeah. before he was like i'm going to stand watch and make sure you know like <laughs> she probably was like she was basically like babying him into bed he was like i'm gonna like i'm gonna guard she's like uh-huh he's like i'm gonna do a great job uh-huh i know shh, shh i'm gonna <laughs> yeah she's like uh-huh just close your eyes go to sleep like she, and he's just like in her lap like yep this is Can i ask how old he is because i don't think like he's like he's like a teenager but he's aw. also like very immature he's a baby okay he's, yeah he's i don't big. know i don't know what elf ages would be for him but like he's yeah he would be like baby. the equivalent of human like 1920 very young oh okay. he is baby yeah. oh yeah so no he's like just turning into a, an adult shaped something yeah. Okay. yeah he like doesn't know what yep. he is yet and renee's very fully aware of this so she's aw. just like uh -huh. Um, yep. I was yep. just curious. Sorry to interrupt <laughs> no, the flow. Good. You're good. I appreciate you asking. But yeah, no, she she just knows him that well, and she's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> actually a baby. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. She's also probably just like drifting her eyes, like are just starting to close. Like, mm -hmm. uh, once we reach back, or once we make it back to camp, I'm going to uh, like call, not call out, not like yell, but I'll say to everybody, 
Well, the protectors are dead. At least two of them. What? Something in the woods attacked them. I imagine that it was something that they had prior knowledge of. One of their swords was missing. <sighs> oh, good. Okay. Okay. So, what, what do you... But if we oh, try God. to leave now, we're all going to... We're not going to have enough strength for tomorrow. I'd rather worry about tomorrow than die tonight. Like, Renee's going to start getting up. Like, okay. Mm. Just like... Carl, oh, how, do, how do you enter other cities without being seen? Well, I usually put on a strong visage. Most people won't look at someone who's got a cloak on and hiding their face. It's not right. the most difficult thing to cast an illusion on yourself, but I use, I rarely ever go into Belkinus itself. I've strayed away from that city for, from that entire country for many decades now. This will be the first time I've stepped in there for a long time. How many days of travel do we have till we get to Belkinus? Yeah, can we see the map real quick? Yes, By you hearts, may. I believe it is three days if we on, just on it. horseback. If you go directly to the capital from where you are. Um, straight through yeah, Chester. Yeah, let's see. So, More. like, you can move two days uh, in oh, one it's only on six horseback. Feet away. I could miss you step there. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, two... I don't know how well the horses travel over the mountains. Yeah, that'll be a... Well, if, tra if there are trails, because I think we, we know that there are, like, some there's some sort of a trade route through the mountains to get supplies to Yedzel, I'm sure. So, yeah, if yeah, there okay, is, yes. like... So, if you book it, you can make it there in two and a half days. And so we'd be passing back through Ruggawood, which honestly also works for me. Yeah, I, well, I, I kind of prefer that because I know you want to drop your brother off and I'd rather yeah. not take him into, into you know, Dangerville. Um, yeah, no, that'd be great. <laughs> Renee. Wait. Look. If we, are, if, if we are moving till tomorrow, will you still be able to rest while on the Holos? Will somebody That's... be able to? Will somebody be able to? I, I don't know, but uh, drive the horse for you so that you can rest. I've drive. not slept on a horse well. I can damn well try. Uh, well, if this is the direction we're going. <sighs> Wait, are we here at this X? Yeah. Uh, yes. You are <gasps> just outside of the border. We're going to need, if we want to rest, then we're going to need to enter Chester City. Anywhere else would be too dangerous. You can, you have connections, as I look to Luna, mm -hmm. to get us in quietly. Yes, I would just need to, you're going to need to let me speak for a second with my mother to catch her up on some of this if we're going to get her to believe, to, to let us in. Okay. And we're risking keep, it. And keep Kara hidden. That's the problem. We are risking it if we are going to be... Even so much as introduced to your mother on any of this idea. Someone here is already aware of our presence. We're risking it by being in the woods. And frankly, I think I might have a decent shot at convincing her. My mother has picked up an attitude that she has never held before. And I I really she's think I have a shot. Official. Yes, she's, she's still a city official that just let her daughter go with city officials weren't allowed to let people go. This is a different situation, and you know it. I'm, Enoch. Will you have some faith in us? We've tried to. We've had faith. We've had faith in you and your endeavors. Please. I don't like it, but I believe it is the best option. Enoch, I really both. don't want to die. I really don't even have to explain to her who Kara is. I'm. All right. I'm just expressing my concern. If and the valid. If it's. I am expressing my concern. I appreciate you taking validity. But if you guys decide that it would be best for us to go to Chester, then so be it. And if this at any point goes wrong, I take full responsibility. And I'll do everything I can to get us out. But if we're about to ride now, we can't handle being exhausted on this journey, especially if we're going through the peaks. To be, fair, hmm? to be fair, we do have at least, and I'm going to look between uh, Kara and uh, Francis, yep. at least one other voice of reason. Do you have any other ideas? Uh, so you're saying this to Francis and Kara? Yes. <laughs> Francis? <What? laughs> at least one other voice of reason. Francis <laughs> just like uh, 
his he looks up and he's just like darting his his gaze back and forth between Renee and and Nathaniel. You you want my opinion? Ah, uh, I, uh, uh, I well, and I turn to Kara. <laughs> Can I add um, one more thing before we go on a final vote? Because it's it might help us. We're trying to get an entire population on this idea. Why not start with one section? One section of the guard to back us, and then we abs- move along. Absolutely not. We're not telling the guard the easily corruptible. It would be worst case scenario to tell them, Oof. is what I think she means. We're going yes. to try and get through it without causing any concern. And if then the worst fucking case scenario is that we might have to start negotiating with one city. And if, frankly, that's I the think worst that we, have we need a place to st- If we need a place to stay, I might have someone that can keep everything on the hush hush. Hmm? Is that her, name, her name is Serene. A uh, couple of y'all already uh, met her. White Dragonborn. Oh, she's the little one at the church. Yes. She um she dabbled in necromancy. And oh. was more than willing to do it again for me, so I imagine if she was willing to do that, she at least might be comfortable with Kara. Well, there we go. All right, fuck. That just might work. So it's settled then. <laughs> Renee, you will message Luna's mother. Luna, you will communicate with her to allow us into the city discreetly. And then we'll go to the church that that tonight. I Why not? I am completely spent. I have been spent. Use the potion. The potion isn't enough. The spell is too high. Well, that's unfortunate. Can you cast higher than that? <sighs> not without getting some sweep. Damn. Well, in that case, I have a solution, but it'll be a bit more improvised. Right, mm-hmm. let's move. What is your solution? I'll charm a god and have them bring your mother. Mm. They don't know after the fact, do they? That might be something I have to explain away, which I'm more than willing to, but... It won't just... be a problem, I assure you. Okay, let me wake this one up. <sighs> he, yep, you will get him up, and... I, I'm sorry to wake you, but we need to move. Something's in the woods. He gave me another day to dead. live, so I think it's fair that you... Take away another night of sleep. Uh, you can... Uh, hold on, wait. Do we, have we exceeded the limit of our horses? I legit forgot that he was here. Can we just leave him behind, let him die? <laughs> no! Yes. No! Absolutely oh, not! Oh, no! Oh, oh, what do oh, you mean, no? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just wait, had a wait, conversation. Wait, wait. This thing. might be like a divot in what our plans that we have at the moment, but I just had an idea. Yeah? Uh-huh. What's your idea? Um, Lushk. Hi. Does that entrance still exist in Chester? He gives a little smile. That it does. Okay. Oh, it's been a hot minute. Okay. Eh? I might know a way for us to go under. Into the Rene passageway. Smuggled. I can't believe you named it the Rene <laughs> way. You couldn't name it something cool. Now. <laughs> I raise my eyebrows. I, I did we plenty pret- while I was there before I knew you. We, I have a life. We have she to protect us, <laughs> pay our uh, due credit. I just didn't realize it was all, it was all of you who were using it. So. Uh, what if it was called the Bordeaux Below Railroad? Oh, my oh, God. I like oh my that God. one. All right, let's all move. So Figure out the name once we get through it. So, yeah, you guys, uh, so are you guys <laughs> riding oh. out in the middle of the night then to find yeah. the Renee passageway? I think it's uh, way. It's the Renway. Really way. It to be it's, like that, no, yes. it's the Renway. It's the Renway. <laughs> I have a oh. question because I think we've exceeded the capacity of our horses. Does this guy still have his axe beak? Oh no, it ran off. Oh, actually, he did not come in on axe beak. Yeah, he All came, right. in, he came the lake. in the fucking lake. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I. All right, someone ride Coro. <laughs> Francis is small, so I'm sure we can triple up somebody. <laughs> um, you know what? We it's fine. Like, it's... I'll I'll <laughs> say let's see how, how many passengers one two three four five six seven I'm gonna be generous and say yes you can triple up on the horses oh. it will not impede on your because I you know it'll be a rough ride for the horse but for convenience sake yeah you start to ride out in the middle of the night heading back towards Chester City and you cross the border. And you can see, as you cross it, you can see 
you do pass by the two axe beaks as well. I'm taking one. <laughs> You're gonna take an axe beak? I want one. Salt. Salt, yeah. salt, take the axe beaks. <laughs> Yeah, I'll look at our our lustry friend. Do you want do you want to take one or do you want to keep I, riding? I'm used to him. Go on. And you see him hop off the horse and look at the axe beak and kind of calm it down and look. Oh no! Oh. What's going on? Just lost another one. That's all. Lost another one. One of your I'm men. Sorry. I. Can it tell us what? He just kind of like brings it down, kind of rubbing its beak a little bit. Whatever it is, it's got this one scared. Then we should move quickly. Is Aye. it willing to move? It is. All right. I've got the reins. Go. And you start, guys start to ride off, heading towards Chester City. And as you pass over the border, the sound of bustling Chester City and the lights going on start to get brighter and louder until a screeching sound pierces through it all and no! a meteor crashes in. What? What? <laughs> Kind of a, a meteor of an object, not an actual meteor. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's just Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> That's still not good, guys. That's Wait, still not good. Good. finish your sentence. A, no, a meteor like object crashes in front of you, and a heavily armored being yeah, bearing an axe no! yeah, no! confronts you. No! Oh, God. No. I'm, I'm completely I've had stunned. a question about this for a while. Are those black veins on Thorn's fingertips? You don't know. We're gonna have to answer that question on the next session. No, yeah. 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 Next session. no fuck you. God. No. Oh, God. fucking no. Oh, well, guys, we're dead. <laughs>